Greetings Soul Siblings, it's Tila here. Welcome to another video. Today I'll be interviewing the Blood Countess herself, Elizabeth Bathory. I will be using my tarot cards to do the reading. I will ask her questions, I'll kind of show you guys the image, then drop it down. As I go through it, as I work with her, I will be channeling her spirit through a, med a technique I use, so there might be a little bit weird breathing, just kind of a heads up. Uh, this woman is legendary, infamous, and could be potentially a victim to politics or really did some horrible, sadistic shit. We really don't know because she was never given a trial. All of her witnesses were tortured and the people that came after her owed money to them and her husband died. So it was a very wealthy, powerful woman that didn't have a man by her side. And back then, that really was not a good thing. However, a lot of these claims did begin before they came in and kind of take it away from her. Um, supposedly for six years, she was committing these horrific crimes. So today, I want to do a reading on her and channel her spirit to kind of ask these hard questions and find out what the truth is based on her side of things. And I will kind of go ahead and briefly read um, over a few things that she's done. And this will be the image I'll be channeling. So, um, and the rumors began, it looks like, in 1602. And let's see here. And 57 became, do, 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 do. we're kind of skipping over this. We just want to get to the witnesses, what they've said about murdering her victims. So it is said the first of which were poor girls lured to the castle with the promise of work. Soon enough, witnesses said that Bathory expanded her sights and started murdering daughters of the gentry, gentry sent for the education as well as kidnapping girls who would never have come to the castle on their own. As a wealthy noblewoman, noblewoman Bathory evaded the law for six years until the Hungarian king Matthias II sent his highest ranking representative to investigate the complaints against her. And they got 300 witnesses to speak up, right? Of course, they were tortured, but we'll just kind of ignore that. According to the reports and stories told long after, Bathory burned her victims with hot irons, beat them to death with clubs, stuck needles under their fingernails, poured ice water over their bodies, and left them to freeze to death outside. Covered them in honey so that bugs could feast on their exposed skin, sewed their lips together, and bit chunks of flesh off their breasts and faces. In addition, witnesses said that Bathory liked using scissors to torture her victims. She used an instrument to cut off their hands, noses, and yeah, that private area down there. Mm -hmm. Really, really disturbing stuff, including like moving the skin between the skin of their fingers, like the skin right here, between your fingers, cut off that. Yeah, and then we get kind of into like the supernatural where she, after her death, is where she like bathed in the blood of virgins, supposedly had sex with the devil, and kind of all this insane stuff. But with the potential of being politically motivated, and there's a lot more questions and it's kind of like a historical mystery, if anything, because there's a lot of people that go back and forth what really happened. And she was, I, be I believe he took her down for 80 murders, um, but supposedly she had a diary where she had up to 650 victims. Of course, this diary is still nothing but a legend and she was never given a trial to defend herself. So... That's why we're doing this. We're going to find out her side of the story today. So as I channel her, I'm just going to draw the cards and then I'll kind of tell you guys everything, what it means afterwards, but I'm just going to do it individually and I'll just show you the card as I lay them down. So let's begin.
Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about these cards and what it all means. So the first card I pulled was the Justice card, and I did ask, was she driving in people into her castle with the ill intent? So with it being a Justice card, it does say that to me she was bringing people in, but not necessarily for an ill thing. She was kind of trying to balance um, her thing as a royalty, as a powerful woman, and to actually give opportunity but with also being justice, it could also represent that there was harm done to them. So morality and what is okay today and what was okay then is quite different. So there was a sense of uh, her when her husband left her kind of a loss of control and kind of trying to rebuild everything, reform everything together. And that put her in a very shaky state of mind as is. And 11 is also a very powerful numerological number. And we, I like to pay attention to the numbers in my cards personally. It's just how I kind of work. And then here we have this next one, which is the two vials which is pretty much two of cups and this is if people were being physically harmed physically tortured so we have a person overlooking her which means i believe there was torturing happening and not necessarily of her will it was kind of someone feeding into her so there was someone else involved in all of this that was kind of pressuring her to do certain acts and they were feeding her this information, kind of this negative propaganda that this was a necessary way to act as a queen. Therefore, she did do some of the accusations that were made against her, but she had someone behind kind of pressuring her to do so is what I'm picking up from that card. And then we have this seven of arms and this is kind of regarding more of like treatment and kind of what happened so this anytime there's swords it's always kind of a negative connotation with it just because swords is your harder part of your life um but we kind of have these army of people coming up against her, right? We have these people coming up in the shadow to bring her down. And then her trying to shield and protect herself and fight them off as best she can. Um, but someone that's carrying the swords may be uh, guilty to some extent. But she was being chased down, right? So it's not fully true. A lot of things have been elaborated to bring her down. And that kind of brings forth this card right here, which is our apprentice card. And this is her being suffocated, her being silenced, right? So she can't speak her truth. And that is really what brought her down is they did everything. They came up with the 300 witnesses by torturing them and they didn't give her a chance to speak in trial and they literally silenced her. They suffocated her truth. Um, and then the next two questions were kind of fun ones. I asked if she ever practiced witchcraft. This is what pulled forth. So she was indeed involved in the supernatural and to the occult. She had a very creative mind. She had a lot of things that she was trying to materialize in her world, trying to control and shape. And she did have magic flowing through her essence. That doesn't mean she was working with any deity such as satan that she was accused with um but it does show that she has some magical connection and connection to the supernatural world so maybe some of those rumors came from seeing her practicing or doing certain things and then here is if she ever bathed in the blood of the virgins so this one's a little bit tricky so the blood of the virgins um i believe came after she actually died and this is kind of a lover's card um, about coming together, right? And kind of breaking through the window. So it's kind of hard to interpret a little bit for me because it's not really 
it could be a yes or no on this almost to me because yes she did have some type of flesh some type of blood so maybe those cannibalism rumors a little bit but that i think that was her having people eat themselves or some shit like that but maybe she did taste flesh taste blood and enjoyed it but and it brought her felt like a connection to this sense of humanity um and or it could represent that other person that was kind of influencing her that maybe they shared um, a interesting connection a lover type of thing so maybe even though her why her husband was gone to war and when he died that she found a lover that was kind of influencing her in this very powerful way and they might have shared because we got the cup pouring here might have shared an exchange of certain fluids including blood um because clearly this person is a little bit twisted which is whatever um so you can take what you want out of this reading i just thought this would be a really cool thing to do if you like it make sure to the subscribe button down below if you guys want me to do more readings like this and kind of reach out to like mystery and historic figures and see if they have a story to tell that's a little bit different ultimately i do believe on certain counts she is guilty for certain things here but at the same time i do believe that she was influenced and that a lot of it was politically driven to bring her down ultimately but hey she's legendary nonetheless and in itself she became an immortal vampire right <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and infernal blessings